This video, sponsored by, Pooksounds.com. Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create website presentation, like this. So let's get started. Before the start, let's see today's sponsored, Hook Sounds provided you highly curated collection of exclusive royalty free music, produced by hand picked artists. Music on Hook Sounds is copyright free and you can download and use for various purposes. For more detail find the first link in the description, and use coupon code to get 10% off, let's jump into the after effects. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, I call this main comp. Then create a new solid layer. This is our background layer. Select background layer and search, gradient ramp effects. Change the color according to your choice. Now create one more composition. This is our image placeholder 1 comp. Drag your image into the timeline. And align the image on top side. Now drag your image placeholder comp into the main comps timeline. Convert this layer into 3D layer, and decrease the size around 50%. Now duplicate the image placeholder. Hit P for position, and change the Z position, 1 pixel. Then again duplicate the image placeholder and change the Z position 2 pixel. Same duplicate the image placeholder 10 time, and increasing the Z position 1 pixels. Here you can see how it's look. This will give little depth of image placeholder. Now select all image placeholders and pre-compose them. I called this image pre-comp 1. Turn on 3D icon, and also turn on collapse transform icon. Now duplicate the image pre-comp. Then go to project window and also duplicate the image pre-comp 1. Then hold Alt key and drag image pre-comp 2 over the image pre-comp 1. Now again duplicate the pre-comp 2 layer, go to project window and duplicate the image pre-comp 2. Then hold Alt key and drag image pre-comp 3, over the image pre-comp 2. Now create a null layer. Rename the layer, I called this, image control. Convert the null layer into 3D layer, then parent all 3 image pre-comp, with null layer. Now select the null layer and hit P for position, and shift R for rotation, and adjust the orientation, and position, something like this. Then go to 1 second forward and add a keyframe in position, and orientation. Then go to first frame, and move the Z position right side of the corner. And also change the orientation opposite side. Cool. Then go to few second forward, add a keyframe on position and orientation. Then again go to around 1 second forward, move the orientation little bit. And also move the position left side of the composition. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this.
Now go to around 1 second, just next to image control keyframes, select all 3 image per comp layer, hit P for position, and add a keyframes. Then go to few frame forward, select the front image, and move Z position little close to camera. Then select the second image layer, and also move the Z position, something like this, then select the last image layer and move the Z position little bit. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect. Now adjust the Y position little bit, so go to the last key on the second image pre-comp, then move the Y position downside of the composition. Then select the front image pre-comp layer and move Y position little bit. Perfect, it's look good to me. We also need to change our images, so open second image pre-comp. We need to replace image placeholder 1, so go to project window, duplicate image placeholder 1 comp, now go to timeline and select all image placeholder 1 layers, then hold alt and drag image placeholder 2 over the image placeholder 1, now open image placeholder 2 comp and change your image. Also change the third image pre-comp 3, so go to project window, duplicate image placeholder 2, go to timeline select all layers, then hold alt and drag image placeholder over the image placeholder 1, open comp layer and change your image. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now select the big triangle and search fast blur effects, and increase the blur radius according to your choice. This will give our comp depth the field effects. Now copy the effects, then select another triangle shape, and paste fast blur effects. You can adjust the blur radius, according to the shape. Now again select ellipse tool, and create a circle. Move anchor point center of the ellipse, search fast blur effects, and increase the blur radius. Also turn on 3D layer, then select the big circle. Go to layer, then go to layer style. and select bevel and emboss, open bevel and emboss, change depth 70%, size 200, and softness 15, now duplicate this big circle layer, move z position 5, Cool. Far from the camera, now we need to an animate the triangles, so hit R for rotation, hold Alt and click on the Z rotation, and type time into 20, copy this expression, then paste it to all triangles, now add your text, so again create a new comp. I call this text 1, width around 1500, and height 300 pixels, now type your text, now animate this text, so open text layer, go to animate, and select position and opacity, change x, 
position 120, and open. Capacity 0%, then open range selector 1, then open advance. Change shape, ramp up, up, and ease high minus 100%. and randomize order on, now go to range select a 1, go to first frame, and add a keyframe on offset, and ch change the amount minus 100%, then go to 2 second forward and change the offset amount 100% Now select the big triangle and search fast blur effects. And increase the blur radius according to your choice. This will give our comp depth of field effects. Now copy the effects, then select another triangle shape, and paste fast blur effects. You can adjust the blur radius, according to the shape. Now again select ellipse tool, and create a circle. Move anchor point center of the ellipse. Search fast blur effects, and increase the blur radius. Also turn on 3D layer. Then select the big circle, go to layer, then go to layer style and select bevel and emboss open bevel and emboss change depth 70 percent size 200 and softness 15 perfect now duplicate this big circle layer move z position far from the camera Now we need to animate the triangles, so hit R for rotation. Hold Alt and click on the Z rotation, and type time into 20. Copy this expression, then paste it to all triangles. Cool. Now we need to add our text here, so again create a new comp. I call this text 1. Width around 1500. And height 300 pixels. Now type your text. Now animate this text, so open text layer. Go to animate and select position and opacity change x position 120 and opacity 0% then open range select 1 then open advance change shape ramp up and ease high minus 100% and randomize order on now go to range select 1 go to first frame and add a keyframe on offset and change the amount minus 100%, then go to 2 second forward and change the offset amount 100%, select both keyframes and easy ease them, make your graph like this. Cool. Then duplicate the layer and type your second text. Now select your main text and search fill color, and change the color as you like. Now go to main comp, and drag text comp into the timeline, and turn on 3D layer. Resize the layer according to you. And search drop shadow effects, and change the opacity around 30%. 
Also parent this text layer with null layer. Move your text layer around one and half second forward. Cool. Now create a camera. I am using 35mm preset camera. Then create a null layer. Move the anchor point center of the null layer. And make null layer 3D layer, then parent your camera with null layer. Select null layer, hit P for position and shift R for rotation, go to around 1 second forward. And add a keyframe on position. Then go to first frame and move the X position right side of the composition. Then go to three and half second forward, and add a keyframe, then go to around one second forward and move the X position left side of the composition. We need to move our image controllers keyframes few frames forward. And also move the image pre-comps keyframe. Perfect. Select all camera control keyframes and easy ease them and make your graph like this. I think we need to move our image controller keyframe little closer. You can move all these keyframes according to your choice, I am just showing you example. Our animation has done. Hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.